What's happening, party people? I have my exercise done. About to hit the shower and do a couple things around here before I jump on my plane, head back to Cincinnati. Get back to Cincinnati, probably take care of a couple of things and head out to my fishing trip. So that's where I'm at. Got some parts hopefully arriving uh, in the next uh, day or two so I can take care of things. You know, I keep trying to donate blood and I keep missing this appointment, man. It's ridiculous. I've missed probably four in a row. The day comes I'm supposed to do it, I totally forget. I've been donating blood since I was 17. So I kind of like to do it. I want to do it. Just, man, I got so much going on lately. It just, whew. I remember like a day or two after. Crap, I missed my donation report. So Thursday afternoon around five i'm gonna do my donation on friday i'm gonna pack it up to go on the fishing trip so that's where i'm at in this video i was helping a guy up in wisconsin uh, take care of his 850 man you know when every bump you hit feels like you're hitting a curve your shocks or struts are shot whether they're two months old or two decades old it's time to replace those things and some of these shocks and struts just they don't cut it man they're horribly designed so somebody was kind enough to give me a set of struts one time i put those things on queen b and within two weeks i had to get those things off my car i to me they just felt dangerous and somebody made a comment yesterday or the day before that uh, safety items on the vehicle include your suspension. And that is so true. If your car is not handling right, not handling emergency situations good, you could get into an accident because you had bad suspension. So we replaced the suspension on there, rebuilt the PMP switch, did a couple other things to make the car more comfortable, and I got everything done in one day. He also had a huge bag of tools that he was kind enough to uh, sell me for like 50 bucks. So that was awesome. Let me go ahead and finish my coffee and hit this shower and get this video posted. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate your help. Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert. That's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you could click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. See an 850 on the side of the road. Looks to be broke down. It's always worth to check to see if it's a manual. Because if it is, I'll leave a note to buy it. <laughs> we made it. Kenosha, Wisconsin, about to work on this A50. Give it the work over. <laughs> Back from lunch with brake pads. Getting ready to put the brake pads on this side with some brake lubricant and hit the other side. The first task at hand was to replace the struts. I got the struts from Swedish Car Parts. He has some struts that are designed to ride for comfort he also has heavy duty spring seats and some heavy duty bearings so we put the whole package from his shop on this car another car i did a few days ago one of sebastian's car i'm gonna get a set for lemonade and one other vehicle that i'm working on so i'm not sure how many of these strut sets he has left but hey they're supposed to ride for comfort be good quality i'm gonna let you guys know how they ride i was told by somebody else in the past that they were real good but they are not built to go well with lowering springs so if you got stock ride height and you want some good well-built struts these should be good and they come with a three-year warranty so let's uh, continue with this job got the driver's side done Headed to the passenger side. Strut, brake pads, and end links. Next, we're gonna repair the PMP switch. I have the repair kit from Swedish Car Parts here. 
we're gonna take out the air box take out the battery and open up the PMP switch and do it in the car I got the PMP switch loose I'm gonna flip it over here open it up change these sensors and close it back up so the key is not to dump everything out and lose it when you got it upside down so make sure you keep a good grip on it if you're going to repair it in the car i got six screws out the bottom one screw out the top i'm gonna try to crack this thing without losing my contacts and springs so let me get a screwdriver and start prying this loose and there it is folks it's open those are the brushes. You want to replace those brushes that I got from Swedish Car Pots. Let me pull those out, put the new ones in. One of them was stuck to the backing and it fell down right there. You can see it there. When I put the switch back together, before I screwed it tight, I looked in the crack crevice of it and made sure those contacts appeared to be in the right place. I got those screwed on. I got the wire bracket on here. For some reason, I thought there was a little tab there. Yeah, I lost that if it was. I'm going to go ahead and mount it back to the transmission. Then we'll hook it all up and see where we are. The car was intermittent with the uh, PMP switch. It wasn't a consistent issue, but hopefully it's cured it. We got two of those things there. And Heck, I don't know what I did with the other one. This should be it. Other than an armrest repair, replacement, PMP switch is installed. Everything's hooked up. We got to torque the wheels down. Yep, he's going to see if it'll fire up. Fire break up. Yes, sir. Get in there and put your foot on the brake, and we're going to see if the reverse lights work. brakes gotta make sure the brakes are gonna hold the car pumping the brakes all right they work all right you can put it in park shut it down that was it i uh, got those struts replaced got brake pads done got the pmp switch rebuilt replaced the armrest maybe a couple other things i don't even remember oh we replaced the bushing and the torque mount and uh alex at swedish car parts is working on redoing that tool uh, i was not able to get my guy that was making the tools to get back in gear on that he retired from his shop set up that stuff at his house and you know he had had some health issues never could bounce back from that so alex is going to have those bushing presses available he does sell the bushings and when he gets that tool fine-tuned, it'll be available on his website. Now, I recommend that people in groups buy that. So if you don't have a group that you're a part of in the Volvo community, maybe get a group, get those tools in somebody's hands, and let you guys either rent them or check them out or something like that. So that'd be something to do. So I just wanted to touch base on that share that with you and let you know hey that coming down the pipeline along with some other tools that he has uh alex is really a i guess treasure to the volvo community he's a volvo enthusiast he drives the cars and he does things to help us keep these things on the road so there's that swedish car parts that is uh, he's not for everybody but for those that you can go ahead and uh, support him whatever uh, I don't know how many sets of these struts he has. He told me he can no longer manufacture these particular struts. They were uh, manufactured with the help of a very reputable shocks and struts company. So that's why I'm willing to put them on a vehicle of mine or two. So I'm going to give those things a shot. And I had a buddy that told me he had them before and he was pleased with them, but once he put lowering springs on his car, they just didn't ride right after that. And not all struts are made for lowering. So probably a good comfortable ride for stock ride height. Besides that, I'm going to uh, continue to do what I do. I try to help people. If you need some help, reach out. Call, text is the best way to reach me. I got people on some of these other social media 
platforms that are salty because they posted a message on some social media outlet that I'm a part of, but I just don't uh, frequent because of my schedule, because of my obligations, and they're a little salty about that. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry, I will give you a full refund on the free services that you're receiving, and hopefully uh, you'll figure out from my videos that you need to call or text occasional email other than that i'm i may not ever see your message you know by the time i see it, it's two three years old and hopefully you've uh conquered your struggles by then you're not waiting two or three years for no reply from me from no message but yeah if you, if you find yourself in a difficult situation you can't get through it man uh, it might be that you need to bite the bullet, tow that thing to a shop and get that thing fixed so that you can continue on with life. Uh, man, there's things that I wanna do that I can't always do myself. I have to get some help. I appreciate the help I get. I pay for it, whatever they ask for, and uh, that's life. You know, if you can't do it yourself, you gotta pay somebody to do it. So that's all for now. I hope you all have a great week and thanks for watching. I'm out.